when you walk in down the street <laughs> and you see a little <laughs> ghost, what you gonna do about those bastards? <laughs> William Atherton. What is up with William <laughs> Atherton? Every <laughs> single movie I've seen this man in, he was a dick. Yeah, yeah. Remember, uh... Die Hard. Die Hard? He was a dick. His yeah. name was Richard. Yeah. Dick. Mm. Yeah. He's a dick. <laughs> Every movie. Yeah. He was in Biodome, too. Biodome. He's a dick. Yeah. Every movie he was yeah. in. A real genius with Val Kilmer. Dick. Mm. See what I'm saying? So he's There's some movies I haven't seen him in, but he was a dick. Yeah. I don't know what he's like in real life, personally. But I'm sure he's a good guy. I'm, I'm bet he's, he's good at being bad. I mean, he's, he is clearly really good at being a dick, <laughs> but I'm guessing he's really nice in, in real life. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I doubt he's not like, shut that machine off in real life. <laughs> shut him off! <laughs> but enough about all that, actors and whatnot. Let's get into the plot. Okay. Ghostbusters 1. Mm. Yeah. So we're starting out, we got the old lady in the library, am I right? Putting books away. Just chilling out. Minding her own business. Not bothering anyone. Just restocking the shelves. But what's going on? Shit flying around. Everything's messing up. And then what do you, what do you think happens? Ghost. Ghost. Thing flies <laughs> into the thing. Just, ah! Ghostbusters. <laughs> and then, anyway, you start meeting the characters. The three scientists that work at the university. You get through them. It gives off the vibe that, you know, like, Dr. Venkman is kind of a ladies' man. You know, very... Yeah chill and crazy kind of guy and you right after that you meet Ray you know and he's very into his work you know hard worker very, very childlike actually too yeah like, yeah you know, he's like he's, he's excited about what he does yeah and then of course you have uh, the third part of their group um which is Egon Egon Dr. Harold Dr. Harold Raymond is it no Egon and he's he's kind of a nerd but he's very smart very smart <laughs> He just knows all about the technicalities of catching ghosts. And but anyway, you meet the characters, you're learning about, they get kicked out of their university, so they have to make it on their own. Yeah, so they start their own business. Ghostbusters. They're here to believe you. So, <laughs> after that, you we get introduced to Dana Barrett. Oh, uh, yeah, Scorny Weaver. Yeah, who's their first customer. <laughs> because... <laughs> Stuff living in her fridge <laughs> happens all the time. Yeah. You got animals living in the fridge, Zool. Yeah. yeah. I gotta say, I, I always thought it was really cool, the, the part with the eggs frying on the counter. Oh, yeah. But I don't really understand how they did that. Yeah, that's true. Not to pop it the shelves and cook it on the counter. But anyway, so she's got crazy ghost shit going on. So she comes to the Ghostbusters to get help, so. Yeah. First customer. You go check, out, check her out. Check out her apartment. <laughs> Direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> so. That goes over not too well. They don't really find anything going on. In there. Yeah. They kind of doubt that anything actually happened, even though... Mm, until they get a phone call from a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> they get this first job at the hotel, which is amazing. you got Slimer in there, voiced by uh, Ivan Reitman. Was he? Yeah. The yeah, director. yeah. That, that's true, yeah. And uh, they said that they made Slimer as kind of like a animal house. Yeah, person. they based him on uh, John Belushi. Yeah, because... Uh, He's supposed to be in it. Yeah. So. Kind of a John, Tr John Belushi tribute. It's Slimer. Yeah. Venkman gets slimed. And they start catching on, getting famous and everything, going, cracking more ghosts. Yeah. Popularity's just skyrocketing. And like, yeah, Ghostbusters theme song. <laughs> just awesome. Man. man. And they get a new recruit. Yeah. Winston Zedmore. Yeah. Played uh, brilliantly by Ernie Hudson. Awesome. Guy. Great actor, man. Yeah. As long as there's a steady paycheck, I believe anything you say. Yeah. It goes back to Dana because he figured out that when she was talking to her apartment it was messed up. She meant that shit. Yeah. So Ghostbusters I don't know, they they're they're taking it serious, but at this like Venkman is kinda of still trying to get a date. Yeah. Until she gets possessed and then shit starts going down. Shit starts going down. Okay. She gets possessed, Lewis gets possessed. Keymaster and the Gatekeeper, which I must say, I didn't really understand the sexual innuendo until I got older. Yeah! I didn't get it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters come together. Oh, actually, they got arrested first. Dickless decided to turn off their machine and all hell breaks loose. Was that first? Yeah. This was around the same time. It was around the same time. Yeah. Dickless comes back. <laughs> oh, that's a 
game. Anyway, <laughs> turns off the machine, ghosts start flying out, starts powering up the building, Ghostbusters get arrested, mm -hmm. they convince the mayor to let them out to save the day, save the day starts playing, yeah, awesome song. awesome song. They get to the hotel just in time for Gozer to come out, mm -hmm. which is some kind of demigod. Yeah! Nice. And, um, it, it, it appears to be a girl. Right? It can be whatever it wants. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nuts. It appears to be a girl, but it can be whatever it wants. Yeah, it's nuts. Anyway, they fight that shit, but it's too powerful. So what happens? Stay puff marshmallow. Ah, uh, yeah, because they're supposed to think of nothing. But what did Ray do? He thought of Stay Puft Marshall. He tried man. to think of this, something really safe that wouldn't hurt them, but... Yeah. That didn't turn out so It well. turned out to be, like, a hundred meters tall. Yeah. So they take their lasers that they were talking about at the beginning of the... Yeah. The proton pack. The proton pack. And they cross the streams. You never cross the streams. Nope. But, because of that blast, they end up saving the day. Yeah. And, then basically and the, uh, the... The possessions stop. Yeah. Dana and uh, Dana Lewis, Lewis, yeah. Happy ending. Yeah. Pretty much Ghostbusters one. That's Ghostbusters one in five minutes. <laughs> in five minutes. Yeah. That's just gold. Of course, you have to watch it because there's a lot of little golden nuggets. Yeah, it's movies. a lot. Yeah, it's a lot better watching it than hearing us talk, talk about, about it. Just talk about short scenes that were great. I mean, you know. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. A must watch. It's classic. Yeah. I mean, we can't even do it justice talking about it. There's so many parts. Like, right, I'm constantly thinking, like, oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Yeah. Well, let's talk. Uh, let's talk features. Let's talk style. features. Features. There's a commentary by Ivan Reitman and Harold Ramis. I have commentary too, but he seems that he has a, a feature. There's a difference. When you watch the commentary on mine, what's different about these two is that uh, there's silhouettes on the screen, it's like, they call it a video commentary, where you see, you just see the silhouettes as they're talking. It's kind of like, uh... Um, um, Mystery Science Theater. Mystery Science Theater. And if you don't know, if you don't know Mystery Science Theater 3000, that's Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah. See how there's silhouettes here? It's kind of like that. Yeah. So... And something that's uh, important to me, being a, being from a French Canadian family, I always like to have the French dub version, and that one's got it. Something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. You know, I like to watch them in the original language, but it's always fun to have the option. Yeah. All right, uh, we also have I have production photos and conceptual drawings. I have those too. Okay. We we all have a lot of the same features. Yeah, but the key things that are different is a lot of the displays in his are a mm. lot cooler than these ones. Right oh, here. yeah, yeah. The menus are similar, but different. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's uh, do a menu comparison. Yeah, let's do a menu comparison. Really, 